Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, good evening. Uh, do I hear okay? Yes. Okay, do I have a good sound with the microphone? Okay, if you could hear me, perfect, perfect. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Elena, Gabriela, good evening. How is it going? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I will. And you? Uh, I'm pretty good, too. Thank you for asking. Okay, Great nice. that you are okay. Perfect. All right. And David, David Alberto, David Alberto, how is it going in this moment? Hello, teacher. Hello, um, hello. I'm I'm a little uh, sleepy. <laughs> oh. But I I get up early today, but um I'm fine. <laughs> okay, good that you are fine though. You got up. I got up in past. It's in past, simple past. Oh, I hear okay. I get up, but oh. no problem. It should be, debería ser, I got, got up is past. What time did you get up, uh, David? What time? Uh -huh. What time did you get up? Uh, I got up at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. It's early. Yes, you are right. That's early. Yeah, I know. But uh, we are going to... Um, do this uh, class and these presentations in a funny way as much as we can. All right. So you don't fall asleep. You don't fall asleep. All right. Uh, guys, uh, welcome to the class, the second class of the week. Uh, did we finish yesterday the presentation? Question, question for you. Did we finish? Do you remember? Did we? Question, direct question. Did we finish? Hello, hello. Are you there? Let's see. Hello, hello. I see that my microphone is working properly. I think the question on often do often for question ever for okay. uh, even or often and ever ever. Okay. Uh, ever ever okay ever all right ever. yeah we were in that part we were in that part yesterday okay we are going to complete the first class and the presentation that we have yesterday and today's because today is the second class. All right, just let me share the monitor, my monitor, my screen. Confirm, please, if you see my screen. Yes, I can see. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, we were in this part yesterday talking about adverse of frequency before this. We were talking about the activities. Uh, we were talking about the questions with often and ever. Often and ever. All right. Uh, questions with this part? Questions? How to use, about how to use often and ever? No? No, it's clear. Okay, perfect. That is clear. So we can advance. And in this part, we were using always, usually, uh, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. We were mentioning some things that you never do. I never go to the gym, and you? Something that you never do? An activity that you zero zero frequency hello 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 
no activities. You I know. never, I never visit Europa. Ah, okay, but maybe in the future you okay. will. Okay, maybe who knows one day, but in this moment you never. All right, you never visit Europe. Europe. Let's repeat Europe. Europe. Europe yeah. is Europe. Europa is in Spanish, but that's fine. Okay, what is the formula for the simple present and the adverbs of frequency? It's pretty simple. We have a subject, then we have the mm -hmm. pronunciation, frequency. free, correct, frequency, frequency adverb. adverb. Next, we have Ver. the verb, Ver. and Less the complement. And the complement. Yes, complement. Okay, let's see a couple of examples. No, we don't have a couple, we have four. And uh, number one, Carlos. Never play soccer. Carlos, never play soccer. Okay, good. But pay attention to the verb. When you use the adverse of frequency, you always remember, see, I am using the Adverb frequency always. You always, always have to use the third person in the verb when the subject is the third person. In this case, it's Carlos. Carlos, Carlos is the third person. The second one, Sophie. Sophie always goes, goes to the church. To the church. To the church. All right. Uh, for example, if you only write go, it would be incorrect because you always have to use the third person in the verbs. Number three, sentence number three. My, my mother, mother, my mother often, cooks often cooks the dinner. The dinner. Often cooks the dinner. Okay. And the final example is? I always do I always my homework. My homework. Okay, that is good. You always have to do the homework. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Can you make questions with okay. often or ever? Okay, we have affirmative and we have a negative part. <coughs> the purpose is, el propósito es, that you form questions with these part of sentences okay this is not a question number one is not a question number two neither number three four and five you need to do complete questions using often and ever okay the first one first one please what is the first part play how often uh -huh. how, often, how, often play, how often play football soccer? Football, soccer. Play, play, play football. Football soccer. Soccer. Okay. Is the correct? Uh, is the sentence correct or the question correct? Mm. How often play football soccer? What's you. the? What's your opinion? Is it correct? Mm. Yes or mm. no? Mm. How often do you play? Ah, you are, yeah. you again missing one important part. Le falta una parte importante in the question. That is? How often do you do? play? Do. What do you is play? do? What is do in this case? What is do? Uh -huh. Auxiliary. The auxiliary. Without auxiliary. do, sin do, you don't have a correct question. You don't forget it. No lo olvide. Okay, now it's correct. How often do you play football soccer? Mm, in my case, I never. I never play football soccer anymore. Ya yeah, no. No more. In the past, yes. Okay. Uh, next, dance. Question dance. with dance. Uh -huh. How often do you... <laughs> Uh, but only how often, how often, how often we have? Uh, however, 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 do you dance? Do you dance? dance. Do you, you, do you dance? dance? Okay, 
Bachata. Oh, difficult. Difficult gender. Okay. However, however. Um, but it causes me a doubt. Me causa duda. On the second yeah. one. Okay, I have the auxiliary. Yes. Now, it, it's correct. But how? Mm, no, how it goes with often. How goes with often. El how va con often. El que va con ever. Do you ever. Do you ever. Oh, okay, it's different. Do you ever. Do you remember yes. the sentences that we practiced uh, yesterday? Do you uh, ever. Uh -huh, in Do this you... part. Let's see. See? There it is. Ahí está. Ah, uh, do. Oh, teacher, so means that the auxiliary goes at the beginning. Yes, that's it. Because you have the option about making questions with often, but with often is how. How often? ¿Qué tan? A menudo. But with ever, alguna vez. Do you ever? Do you right? ever? Yes, do you ever. Or does, does she? Okay, that depends on the subject. The subject is she. The auxiliary should be, does. debería ser does. Okay, yes. because that is the rule. That is the rule. Okay, good. Uh, let's go back. So, correcting it, corrigiéndola, would it be, sería... Do you ever... Do you... Yes. Do you ever... Correct. Do you ever dance uh, bachata? If you ask me, no, I never. I never dance bachata because I can't. I am bad at dancing. And you, do you ever uh, dance bachata? Uh -huh. Are you are you fiestero? Uh -huh. Are you ba bachatero? No. Uh, okay. One thing is that you like it, and another different is that that you can, <laughs> but it's difficult. All right. Good. Okay. Good. You can continue doing the sentences uh, with often or ever. We are going to do only two because of the time. We need to advance with the next ones. Okay. In the negative, negative, negative sentences, not only questions. It can be a normal sentence. Can you make sentence questions or sentences? Let's add with. Okay. A negative sentence. You can continue with uh, with this with this one. Eat sushi. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. A sentence, negative sentence with eat sushi. Sushi, sushi. Do you like sushi? Who likes sushi in this class? Uh -huh. Do you like it? Ah, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Okay. I... Jocelyn. I never eat sushi. Hey, why not? <laughs> I, uh -huh. I don't like it. You don't like? I don't like it. Le falta el subject at the end. Eat. Okay. I don't like? I don't like it. Okay. You don't like it? No, you maybe you had a bad experience, I guess, right? With <laughs> sushi in the past. That's why. Por eso. Okay. Jocelyn, guys. Negative. Negative sentence. No. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Uh -huh. You can use it's an adverb and an adverb. Doesn't, it doesn't, 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 doesn't eat. Doesn't eat sushi. 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 Yes, that is correct. But which adverb frequency is the correct one for a negative sentence? Jocelyn doesn't, doesn't ever eat. Never. Never. Uh, okay. Sushi. Never. Okay. Never. Never, never would be the negative, the neg as a negative sentence because it's zero, zero zero is zero. Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. never. never. Doesn't never. No. Oh. Only never. Never. Uh -huh. Never. It's sushi. It's sushi. sushi. Okay. Is the sentence correct? No. No. Mm. Why not? Yes. The the letter S because the we need to S. conjugate. 
correct the letter s conjugate the verb because we have the subject in the third person jocelyn jocelyn never eats it's sushi and that would be a negative sentence yes it would be a negative good another example for example we they go to the beach a negative sentence with go to the beach Good evening, I teacher. Good evening. Hello. I never, only never. I, I, I never go to the beach. Uh, okay, I never. Okay, I never. Correct. I never go. No is, no yes, because the subject is I. Go. I never go to the, go to the beach. beach. But you should. I told you yesterday. Okay, you should. The very end. You should. All right. So, if you see, we can do affirmative uh, questions uh, with often, how often, and okay, we have a mistake. Do you? Do you ever? Do you ever? Okay, do you ever? Correct. Do you ever? Okay, what you need to do is uh, about this only practice. Practice, practice, and that's it. All right. Let's see. Let's continue with uh, the next part. Ah, no. The next part is this. Ayer le explicaba rapidito esto, ¿verdad? Yes or no? Okay. The yes. most uh, the most important links that I added in the presentation are these ones. The one that is going to give you access to download the material about the presentations is this one, Google Drive. Mm, in the platform in the link about the classes, the recorded classes that we have every night. Okay, those are the most important ones. All right. Okay, just let me save the changes to the lesson and we are going to continue with the lesson number two that we have for today. All right. Teacher, yes. I have a problem. Which which problem do you have? I I don't see the screen. How do you say pantalla screen? A uh, screen mm -hmm. monitor okay. screen. You don't see it really. Okay. Let me stop sharing. The oh, yeah, no. yeah, I stopped it. Yellow too. And I'm gonna share again so Jancy can see the screen. Okay. Uh, what about now, Jancy? Can you can you see it? That's right. Okay, good, see? good, perfect, perfect. I can see. Okay, perfect that you can see it. All right, let's continue. Class number, we are going fast. We are going fast. Class number two. Okay, pre-intermediate model two. Uh, you know the, the indications, the attentive participation. That's always important. And the platform, your name, and let's see, and the camera. The camera should be on, don't be shy. No le de pena, don't be shy. Turn on the camera so I can see you. Okay, and about the percentage, we talked about that yesterday. And about the questions, you know, you can ask. Puede preguntar. Any doubt, any, anything that you want to ask. Okay, and the four areas in English that are important. Number one. Speaking. 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 Okay. Uh, if you want to improve in English, we need to practice the... Hay que practicar de... Speaking. 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 A lot. A lot, a lot. And the listening? Listening. And the listening too, right? And when I make mm. you questions or when you speak, I pay attention to you. That is the listening. Next. Grammar. 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 Always grammar. Teacher, I don't like grammar, but grammar... Is the base, the base of everything. And finally, practice. 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 Okay. Practice, practice. Good. Practice. All right. Uh, in the links about the tools that I use, you get them there. Uh, let's continue. Okay. Topic. Adverse continuation. This is a continuation. Adverse of frequency. Frequency adverse are words. 
I work with you all about, about the frequency. Frequency. All about frequency. Something. We do something. Okay, you know that. Ya sabes. Okay, we use. Use often or ever to make a record according with the picture. With picture. Okay, this is a, a small exercise. We have the picture. What can you see listening? What can you see in the picture? What can you see? One grammar. One grandfather. Grandfather and grandmother. Okay, and, and the boy? Grandmother. And the boy is? Grandmother. How do you say nieto? How do you say nieto? Okay, okay. Son is hijo, right? Son. Okay. Son is hijo. Nieto? The son of your son, let's say. Grand. Grand, correct. Grand, grandfather, Grand. abuelo. Grand, Grandmother. Mother, abuela. Nieto? Grandson. Grandson. <laughs> correct? Oh, That's yes. it. Grandson. Okay, Thank it has, has sense. Okay, no problem. Good. Okay. How often? The question is. How often do you visit How your grandparents? Visit your grandparents? Oh, okay. Do you have grandparents? Uh, do you have grandparents, Yancy? Grandmother, grandfather? No. Uh, I I don't have grandfather and grandmother. Uh, they, they, uh, how do you say, murieron? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, formal way. I, where is the, the, where is the document? The word document that I use for my classes, I don't find it. Just let me find it. Okay, you have two ways. I do formats. The formal one and the bad one. La formal y la mala. Okay, la mala is? <laughs> died. Died, to die. Okay, murió, died, correct. Okay, died. And the second one, okay, this is the first one, die. die. To die. And the next one is pass, pass away. Pass away. In, in past, can you make the sentence? My. My grandparents. Hmm? To die. Past. Okay. Past. Because it is a uh, simple past. Past. Away. Okay. Away. Ah, wait. Away. Already. Yeah. Okay. Already. You can use already at the end. Ah, my grandparents passed uh, away already. Okay. I'm really sorry. Okay. But this is the, Thank the you, formal you. way. La forma formal. Okay. Passed away. In, in Spanish would be the translation. Who knows? Mis abuelos ya murieron. Mm, Pasaron sería... a mejor vida. No. Okay. Esto es morir y esto es fallecer. Ah, fallecieron. Ah, yes. Correct. It's like a synonym. Like a synonym. All right. Okay. Uh, how how often do you visit your your relatives? Okay, not only grandparents, uh, grandmother, and grandfather, re your relatives. How often do you visit them? Guys? Edson? Once a week. I visit I, uh, I, my I, grandparents I visit once uh, a week. <laughs> once a week. Once too. a week. Okay, David visits uh, his relatives once a week, same as Edson and Joanna, Jancy, Elena, and Jocelyn. Elvira and you. passed away already. Ah, okay, they too. But your relatives, your other relatives, how often do you visit them? How often? Once a week, mm -hmm. once once a year? Uh, once in, a my year? Case, mm -hmm. in my case, teacher, uh, I visit a uh, grandmother, a uh, grandmother, um, once a week or twice a week? Okay, twice or once a week. Okay, that's fine. I haven't visited my grandmother in some weeks, but I will visit her soon. All right. Good. Good, good. Okay, let's continue. The next one. 
What's going on in the picture? What's going on there? They are playing baseball. Good. Do you like yeah. that game? Yeah. That is sport? Do you like baseball? A little bit. A little bit. Uh, do you ever play baseball? I never. <laughs> you never. I only speak I never. 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 Okay. I don't like it. You don't like it, no? But it's funny. No. It's a funny sport. I, I like, like basketball. You like more basketball. Okay, good. Okay, good. Let's see. The question is, do you ever... I know it doesn't have anything to do with this. It is an incorrect place. The question would be... What is the question? With often or ever, remember. Do you ever do you play, play baseball? baseball? Correct. Do you ever... Okay, do you ever play baseball? Baseball. Or the second option is? How often? How often, correct. How often do you play baseball? Okay, those are the two options. All right. The place. Excuse me? Do play. Do you? How often no. do you play? Do play so how often do you ah yeah we don't need ever correct how often do you play baseball correct thank you for correcting the sentence all right that is the sentences that are correct for adversive frequency okay and this one is swimming swimming okay and the question the complete question would be how often do you swim in school? Okay, how often do you swim uh, in the pool? How often do you swim in your in pool? pool? Uh -huh, that's in your pool. pool. Uh -huh. It's funny. Okay, correct. If you have a big pool, right? <laughs> how often do you swim? No. Hello. Or in a barrel? In a barrel, no? Yes, <laughs> never. Okay, you never yes. swim. Okay, but you can say complain. The oh, teacher, I never, I never swim in my pool or in in a in a barrel. I never, see, I never swim my pool. Uh -huh. In my pool, correct. All right. The river. Excuse me. In the river. <laughs> and. Uh, Driver, driver, oh, river, river, ah, river, okay, river, okay, see how important is pronunciation in the speaking, ya ve como es importante, right, I confused, uh, ride, rider, <laughs> rider, yo entendí rider, but yes. rider is, river, river, or driver, me confundí con driver, that you drive <laughs> a car, or a rider, rider in a motorcycle, but it was river, <laughs> river. Are you sure that is river? So what is river, uh, Edson? Are you sure? Yes, that uh, river? Rio, Rio? <laughs> uh, river, the river plate, remember, river plate. Exactly. Ah, okay, river plate. good. Okay, um, we have already seen this. Ya vimos esta parte. Okay, we're gonna skip it because it is referring to the adverse of frequency. Okay. Adverse of frequency plus, plus verb to be. Verb to be. Verb to be. Okay. Uh, how is that? ¿Cómo es eso? We can use adverse of frequency with no verb to be. For example, I play soccer. Do I have the verb to be in the sentence? Mm, no. No, right? I don't um, have the verb to be. But we can use the verb to be mm, with adverse of frequency. Option. For example, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Can you can you repeat it? Who talked? Who talked? Who talked? Can I blow? Okay. If you have questions, remember you can ask. The formula for adverse. Mm -hmm. What is the formula? The formula is a subject. 
plus the verb to be. Plus verb to be. And remember, in the previous examples, we have the subject and the adverb of frequency. But now is in a different place. Ahora está en un different place. Now, before is the verb to be. Antes está el verb to be. Next, after the verbs, the adverbs of frequency plus the complement. Complement. Okay. It says here, aquí dice. The verb to be goes before the adverb of frequency. Okay, adverbs of frequency. The verb to be goes before, but antes. See? Antes, before, in what is after, after is? Uh -huh. The opposite of before. What is the opposite of before? Mm -hmm. The opposite? After. 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 After is the opposite. All right. Let's see some examples. Some examples. Okay. Carlos. Carlos is always bossy. Bossy. Bossy, bossy, bossy. Eh. No, don't be sorry. Ok, we are, we are learning. No, no, no lo sientas. Estamos aprendiendo. No problem. Ah, uh, but we have problems. When you have problems or doubts, cuando hay problemas, dudas, what do you need to do? ¿Qué necesitas hacer? Uh -huh. Use dictionary. Use the tools. Use the resources that you have available. Ok, grammar is like that. Pronunciation. Busy. 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 Like busy, right? Similar, very similar to a busy. Did you have, did you have busy when you were uh, a child? Did you have a busy? Any busy? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. lucky. You are lucky. You were lucky. Tuvo suerte. I didn't have, I didn't have busy when I was a kid. Uh -huh. And you, Jancy, Elena, David, did you have? Uh -huh. Did you have any BC? Okay, uh -huh. you didn't. No. no, I didn't. In negative. Okay, good. It's similar. Pr pronunciation is very similar, but we have ah, this, this propaganda. Come on. We have the letter. What is that letter? Mm. Z. Z. Okay. Remember, like, what is the animal B? What is a B? What's a B? Uh -huh. Do you know? B. The animal B? A a what is what is a the sound? What is the sound that a B Z. does? Z. Like that. Okay, similar. So is busy. 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 D. Okay, correct. Good. Okay. Um, the example How was. How do you say busy, teacher? Bike. No, busy. Busy. Okay, busy. The example, the word in the example. Carlos busy. Is always busy. busy. Busy, correct. Carlos is. Okay, check. The verb to be is before the. The other, correct. The other frequency. frequency. Okay. Next. Sophie, Sophie and I, I are never, never late. late. Okay. Sophie and I are. Is that correct? The second sentence. Is it correct or incorrect? It's correct. 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 It is correct. To subject. Sophie and I. Sophia e. Show. Sure. Are. Never late. Never what is the late. what is the meaning? What is the meaning of that sentence in, in Spanish? Sofía what is the meaning? Nunca llegamos tarde. Nunca llegamos. Pero dice are. But is are are never. Nunca estamos. Sofía y nosotros. No somos impuntuales. Okay. Mm, pretty much is the first one. La primera que mencionaron. Nunca llegamos. Teacher, but the verb llegar, the verb llegar is which one? What is the verb llegar? Arrive. Arrive, arrive. correct. Yes, arrive. But in this case, the context that we are talking about, 
It Estamos tells tarde. you uh -huh, that you never get, get late, llegar tarde. Usted puede decir, ah, I never get late, nunca llego tarde. Pero literalmente no está diciendo llegar, right? But the structure means that. La estructura tiene ese sentido. Ok, good. Uh, the next one, the next one is... I am sometimes bored in meetings. I am sometimes bored in meetings. Yes, I am sometimes. Algunas veces me... Me... Aburro. Me, me aburro, aburro o estoy... Ajá. Estoy aburrido. aburrido. Both things are correct. Ambas son correctas. But depending on the context that you talk about, it is the sense. Uh, dependiendo de eso, es el sentido de la oración. Ok, I am sometimes. You can say, I sometimes bored in meetings. Without the verb to be would be correct. Sin el verbo to be estaría bien. I sometimes yes. bored. Yes. Yes. It's yes. Okay, let's see. I sometimes bored in meetings. In meetings. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh -huh. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Why? There must be, there must be the re a reason. Uh -huh. Can you explain it? Puedes explicar? Uh -huh. Subject try, try. prefer to be lost as their of frequency. Okay. Word correct. is an adjective. Ah, okay, correct. If you need, if you need this structure, si usted necesita esta estructura, that is correct, you need the verb to be. But what about if you don't need it? If you don't want to use the verb to be. Bored is an adjective as, um, hey, as David said, como David dijo, ah, bored is an adjective. I sometimes bored. Yo algunas veces aburrido en reuniones. Yo algunas veces aburrido. Does it have sense? Does it make sense? ¿Has sentido eso? Yes? No? Mm -hmm. No, Me no, right? <laughs> ah, but bored is an adjective. What do I need to make it correct? ¿Qué necesito? Si quiero hacerle correct. But no with a verb to be. No verb to be. A verb. Another verb. Another verb. Which verb? ¿Cuál? Nice. Which verb? I'm bored. Okay, ¿cómo se dice sí. aburrirse en inglés? Aburrirse. Ajá, en inglés. Boring. boring, no, no boring. Uh -huh. Ideas before I use the tool. Ideas antes de que use la tool. Boring. Okay. Vestirse, okay. vestirse, vestirse is get dressed. Get dressed. Okay. Y aburrirse. Get bored. Get, get bored. Get bored. Get bored. Get bored. Okay, correct. Get bored. So, you use the verb? Get. Get, correct. Get. Simple, and this is simple present without the verb to be, single verb to be. Okay. I sometimes, can you read it? I'm sometimes, sometimes get bored, get bored in, meetings. in meetings. Okay. Let's see if it's correct. Veamos si está bien. Okay. I tell you that no complete paragraphs. Okay. But look at it. Mm. Ah, y si le quito el get? Uh, sí. Mm. Mm -hmm. It translated the same. La traduce lo mismo, pero I know that is incorrect. Yo sé que está incorrecto si le quito el get. If I delete get. I need another verb, correct. Get bored is a verb. Bored yes. with ed. With ed, get bored. Let's delete the letter D and let's see. Let's try. You can use the tool to make sure. Get bored or no e. Get bored. 
Aburrirse. Aburrirse. Ok. You delete the letter D. Get bored. All right. You were correct. Sí, estabas en lo correcto. Get bored. I sometimes get bored in meetings. Now, eh, with the verb to be, what do I do with the structure with the verb to be? Que algunas veces me aburro. Algunas veces estoy. Mm -hmm. I am sometimes. I am right. I am sometimes. And now I don't need get. Ahora no necesito get. I need the adjective. I am sometimes bored in meetings. Bored in meetings. Okay, see, that was the, the thing that you can use a verse of frequency with a verb to be or without, con o sin el verb to be. Teacher, Depend I have a question. Yes, question, question. In the structure, the, the ad, in, in... lo puedo decir en español. Uh, try in English, try, remember, speak it. Try, can, try. Can I change the adjective for a job or work? Uh, okay. I am never chef. I am never chef. Mm, okay, not for a job. I am never, I am never, okay. Okay, I am never chef. Let's see that example, chef, for a job. I am never chef. Does it make, does it make you sense the sentence by itself? Le hace sentido la sentence uh, by itself, guys? In general, it's in general. Is that correct? I am never chef. What do you mean, uh, David? ¿Qué quiere decir, David? Nunca he sido chef. Ah, that's another tense. Ah, that's another tense. That's different. I have never been a chef in my life, you can say. Okay. But this structure is a present perfect. In present perfect, we are going to study it in another, in another unit or course. But this is the way. Aquí sí. In this case, yes, it is correct. Thanks. But in the first one, no. In the first one would be incorrect. Maybe I am not. I am not a chef is correct. In this case, yes. You can say, no, I'm not a chef. I am a driver, etc. Any uh, talking about uh, professions. In this case, yes. But in the previous one with the other, no. And okay. in this tense, it is correct. But this is present perfect. We are going to study that in other unit or course. Uh, clear? Yes, teacher. All clear. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's continue. 9.43. Let's advance. Let's advance. Okay, the next one. Um, the last one, I mean. They aren't usually patients for waiting. Okay, you only mispronounced uh, this one. Patien, patien, así dice. Patien. Patien, but it's not patien, it's patient. Patient, okay, we can check. What is patient? Hmm? Paciencia. Patient. Patient, it says non-countable. Correct, Patient. paciencia. Pero también está el contable. When you are waiting in a hospital, you are, or when you are hospitalized in, in, in any place, any hospital, you are a patient. It's patient. Okay? Patient. Okay. Let's uh, try patient. to pronounce it. Patient. 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 All right. Patient. patient. Okay, good. They aren't usually... Patient, patient for waiting. Waiting. All right. For waiting. Good. Okay. Questions in this part, uh, guys, about how to use the, the adverbs of frequency with the verb to be? Not teacher. No? 
Okay, if no questions, one example. Together or individually, you decide. One example. Any any subject, any any form of the verb to be, any complement. Okay, yeah, affirmative. Let's begin with affirmative. Uh, usually, uh, walk to work. I uh, usually walk. Walk to work. Walk, walk, to walk, work. To work. Okay, but in in the verb to be, I don't see the verb to be. Let's try to practice with the structure, including the verb to be. I am. I am usually. I am usually walk. To work. Mm. No. Uh -huh, guys, what do you say? Correct, incorrect. Walk. What, what can you change? Okay. I am usually. Uh -huh. I can get usually. Okay. I think. I Como think. digo que hay que quitar el usually. Uh, teacher, we subject, remember, we. We delete. Borramos. We delete usually. usually. Okay. Usually. Uh, if I delete usually, I am walk to work. Yo soy caminar para el trabajo, dice ahí. No. No, no. It sounds, sounds bad. Suena mal. Okay. Ajá, ¿qué quiso decir ahí your classmate? I'm usually walking to work. Ah, que él usualmente va al trabajo caminando, right? Así es. Uh, yes. Ah, ok, so I don't need the verb to be. I usually walk, I usually walk to work. Usualmente voy ajá, caminando al trabajo. But in, what about if I include the verb to be? How can I make it without the verb to be? Como una sentence including the verb to be. Uh, maybe we need to say something else. Mm -hmm. Friendly. Usually... Friendly. Uh, friendly. When I walk to work. Let's take that part. Okay. I am usually friendly with people. We can add it more. Podemos ponerle más. With people. Aha. Uh -huh. And now, is it correct? Can you read it? Read it complete. Read it complete. When I usually friendly with people. Usually friendly with people. When I work to work. Uh, okay. Does it have? Mm -hmm. Does it have a different sense? The sentence. Teacher is it, it's walk to work. Walk. I am usually friendly with people walk. when I walk. walk to work. Ah, okay, work. To work. Ah, yes, you are right. Okay, work. All right. And now, different sense, correct sense in the sentence, or incorrect yes. yet? No, it's correct. Yes. yes, now it's correct. I am usually. Friendly. Remember, when you use the verb to be, cuando se usa el verb to be, with this structure, you can use adjectives. Use adjectives. All right? You need to use adjectives. Busy is an adjective. Ocupado. The next adjective is... Late. Late. Uh, next adjective in the next sentence? Bored. Bored. Next adjective... Waiting. Waiting. Uh, no, waiting, patient. no. Patient. 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 Uh, and the adjective in this sentence? Friendly. Friendly, correct. Remember that. Ah, okay, I need to use adjectives when using this structure, <laughs> using the adverbs of frequency and the verb to be together. Okay. Y como digo... Uh, como digo que estoy siempre alegre. I, have I am always, always. I am always happy. 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 Yes. happy. Uh, happiness is the uncountable. Yeah. It's the uncountable noun. I need to use adjective. 
adjective, adjectives all the time. I am always, let's see if it's correct. I am. Ah, yes, the verb to be is before the adverb of frequency is correct. Okay. Did you get that? Uh, ¿Se entendió? Uh -huh. So, so. Uh, so, so. Ah, okay, with practice, you will uh, get it better. Do I understand better with practice? Okay, with practice. Remember, uh, verb to be, adverb of frequency, adjective. That is the formula. I'm, I'm going to write it to you in this part. Yeah. Yes. Eh, no sé, pero la oración anterior no la entendí. ¿Por qué se la adicionó más para a, realizarla? Uh, this one. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, before we have, I am usually walk to work. Teníamos esto. I am usually walk to work. Si la trata de traducir, ¿qué dice? Yo estoy usualmente caminando al trabajo. Um, aquí no es caminando porque solo está walk. Camino sí, sí. al trabajo. Camino al trabajo. I am, yo estoy usualmente camino al trabajo. No. Ajá, mm -hmm. no sense. No hay mucho sentido ahí. ¿Mm? Pero si le pongo un adjetivo. I am usually, what is the adjective? Friendly. Friendly, ok. Usualmente, uh -huh, estoy, o soy amigable. Amigable soy, con personas cuando camino al trabajo. Yes, imagine you walking, hey, hello, George, hey, hello, Sophie, have a good day, etc. That is being friendly, ok, that is the thing. Eh, ahí está la cosa. Ajá. Ok, perfecto. Cuando... Ok, cuando usa el verbo to be, usamos uh, adjectives, ok, junto con los adverbs of frequency. That is the thing. Aquí no hay adjective. ¿Ah? Por eso no suena. ¿Y cómo la haríamos sonar mejor? Quitándole el, el verbo to be. I usually walk to work. Ah, usualmente camino al trabajo. Ahí sí, porque no necesitamos el verbo to be. Aquí porque sí. Porque tenemos el adverb frequency y el adjective para hacerle el sentido. All right? Thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay, depends, that depends on what you want to say. Depende de lo que quiera decir. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to write it to you. Uh, adjective. Okay, you need adjectives. Just let me type it. Adjective. The ones that are in this part. Okay, I'm gonna place them in. What is the color? Mm -hmm. What is the color in the adjective? Red. Oh, uh, purple. <laughs> purple. Yes, it's purple. Purple, purple, purple. purple. Same as the verb to be. It's purple. Okay. Remember, adjectives are in purple color adjectives. Okay. Just let me save the changes. Let's continue because we have only eight minutes to finish the class. Let's see what else we have. Let's answer the next, the next questions. Let's see if we have time to answer those questions. Just let me copy and paste the link. Okay, I'm going to pause the music. Others of frequency. Okay, I think we have again. Okay. Let's see, uh, Jose, Jose Ismael, give me or mention a number to open a box. Uh, the number nine. Nine. Can you read the question? Uh, how often does your sister watch TV? Okay, and the question is for whom, para quien, for whom of your classmates, you this oh, time? For hmm. Edson. Edson. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ismael. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I okay. Well, look, look at the I, question. I, no, I don't live uh, my sister. I don't live with with my sister. Okay, but imagine that I you live, live with her. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, 
my sister uh, watch TV every day. Okay, good. Partially correct. Partially correct. And why, teacher? My sister, my sister, I am paying attention to you. My sister watch, you said. Watch TV every day, right? Correct? Yes. Okay. Correct. Uh, okay, the sentence is incorrect, my friend. Okay. Guys, can you help to correct the sentence? Watches. Watches. Correct the present, simple present in the verb. We need the ES because the subject is my, my, sister. my sister. Yes, I watch, you watch, she he watches. 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 Okay, that is the thing. Simple present tense. Ahí está el simple present. Okay, hay que practicar porque si no se olvida. All right. Next, next question. Uh, let me ask uh, Jancy. Uh, number three. Three, number three. How often do, do your children eat fish? Questions for which classmates or question is for whom? Uh, Edson. For Edson. Okay. Uh -huh, Edson. Oh, okay. Oops. Uh -huh. Repeat, repeat, please. Uh, can you repeat the question, uh, Jancy? Can you repeat the question? Okay. okay. Let me see. Let me see, teacher. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I minimize this thing. Ah, come on, what did I do? Okay, let me reload it. Déjame recargarla, okay? It was number three. Uh -huh, that How one. often do, do your children eat fish? Okay. Do um... your children eat fish? My children, mm, hmm? no, it's, oh no, I like fish. Okay, my children, other, other frequency, uh, sometimes, never. My, uh, my, okay, my uh -huh. children, uh, sometimes it's fish. Okay, my children, sometimes. Sometimes it's Okay. Fish. Okay. My children, let's see something a little bit. Uh, my children sometimes uh, eat fish. Correct or incorrect? Guys, hello? Incorrect or correct? Only eat. Only eat. Correct. We don't need the letter S. For the third person, because we don't have third person, my children is plural. We have two or more. That's why no S in the letter S in the verb. No S. Normal verb. Okay, because it's plural. All right, uh, guys, I guess we are not going to end the questions because of the time, but you can practice with the questions. The link is there. The link is here. You can practice and finish uh, the questions whenever you have time. Okay. Let's see what else we have in this part. Ah, okay. Practice to do. Para hacer en? At home. At home. Okay. This is practice. I recommend you to develop the exercises before doing the assignments in the platform so you can have a better a better idea how to complete the assignments in, in the platform this is practice try to develop develop the exercises in, in your free time all right all right good all right it's okay good. and we right, got pending this this is about uh, intonation okay we are gonna check this tomorrow quickly but it's not big deal 
is not a lot. Okay. Okay, guys, because of the time, let's stop the class. See you tomorrow. Thank you for joining to the second class and have a good night. See you tomorrow night. Take care. Take care a lot. Tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. See you good too. Night. See you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Have a good day tomorrow at good work good. in good your activities. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Bye-bye. Have a great night.